All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a preview of uh, Revelations. They dropped some uh, Revelations goodness here. Saw it from the Facebook page from Upper Deck that they dropped this preview. This is actually my second time recording this video because uh, the first time it didn't record any audio. So I tried to blindly look at it, but now I've already looked at it once. So I did want to get this out to you guys, uh, so that's why I'm doing it again. So, this is from the preview from before, but Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, and War Machine have finally emerged from the shadows, but the Avengers are tested as never before when Revelations forced them to, when Dark Revelations forced them to question everything they know. Welcome to the first preview, card, card preview. We have a lot to cover over the next few days, so let's not waste any time. So this says next few days, so it makes me hope that they're going to drop another preview uh, in a few days, um, or next couple days, like before the end of the week. Uh, real quick, I'm outside. Uh, getting some sun before I have to work, so that's why you may hear some ambient noise. So it's right off the bat, we got hyperspeed, new keyword. So I was wrong in my speculation on the last video talking about this stuff because I think I would said they didn't highlight new keywords, so maybe they weren't adding any, but they always add some. So um, hyperspeed, so we have Quicksilver here. So the new keyword represents heroes like Quicksilver and speed moving blindly fast. Battering opponents with a flurry of unpredictable strikes. It also includes hyperspeed flight, hypersonic cannons, and hyper fast volleys of arrows. So he's got a two attack plus, and he's uh, green. And if you play green here, you hyperspeed four. He's four cost. He's probably common. We got hypersonic cannon from War Machine. This is probably one of his uh, uncommons. He's got hyperspeed five, and then you may KO a card from your, uh, your KO a card from your discard pile with playing a blue card. So let's see what hyperspeed means. Hyperspeed, uh, some cards say like, things like hyperspeed 5. This means reveal the top 5 cards of your deck. You get plus 1 for each card with an attack icon. You reveal this way, discard all those cards. Um, so in this case, it'll cost, you can get up to 5 attack off of this. But it doesn't matter how uh, what, doesn't matter what numbers are in the attack icons. Ignore recruit icons and other icons on the revealed cards. When building a deck with a lots of hyperspeed, you want a lot of many cards with attack icons, which makes sense. And as you uh, as you can get, including cards with zero plus printed inside their attack icon, you can cleverly use abilities that let you set up the top card of your deck to have an attack icon right before you play a card with hyperspeed. Like investigate would work really well with that. We've got too easy to see. This is one of his commons, probably his other common, aside from that green one up there for Quicksilver. Hyperspeed 3 for Recruit, and then if you play a Yellow Hero, uh, instead Hyperspeed 3 for Attack and Recruit. So some cards explicitly tell you Hyperspeed 3, which means reveal the top 3 cards of your deck. Hyperspeed 3 for Recruit, sorry. Which means reveal the top 3 cards of your deck. You get plus 1 Recruit for each Recruit icon you revealed this way. Discard all those cards. Um, and then we have this Rare here, Break the so Sound Barrier. S speed. Why is this, is this a different character? Because it says speed. That's Quicksilver though, isn't it? No, it's a different person. Shoot, is a different person named Speed? What? So I thought that was Quicksilver he'd been with. Tell me if I'm wrong, but that... Yeah, it's like green, he's got goggles. And his costume's different. That's Speed, so there's a character named Speed, I guess. It's an Avenger. <laughs> so here's his rare. Speed's rare. Um, look at the top six cards of your deck. Draw two of them and put the rest back in, on top or bottom. And in order, hyperspeed six. So, some cards explicitly tell you to hyperspeed for recruits. It means you reveal the top three cards of your deck. And you go, okay. And then underneath that was finally some cards say hyperspeed for attack and recruit. In this case, you reveal if you reveal one card with a recruit icon and two cards with a recruit and attack, you get plus three re recruit and two plus two attack. So doing. Uh, cards that have both like versatile cards or like proximate midnight cards will yield you both and in, in, in the event of that so dark memories is the next keyword we've got the first mastermind we know the mandarin's coming but we have at least the first like full card of the mastermind and it's the hood he has dark memories and then he always leads hood's gang and then his master strike is each player reveals the top six cards of their deck discard all the non-gray heroes revealed and put uh, and it puts the rest back in any order um, and this theme of Revelations, this keyword represents the Hood and his gang. Oh, the way the Hood and his gang find every dark secret in a hero's past and use it against them. Madame Mask, one of the Hood's gang villains, 
she's got dark memories. And then ambush, guess villain, bystander uh, strike or twist. Then reveal the top card of the villain deck. If you guessed wrong, play that card. So she's five attack, and then if you fight her, KO one of your heroes. So some villains and masterminds have keywords dark memories, which means that they get plus one for each hero class in your discard pile. Likewise, some he- hero cards like Ronin and Scarlet Witch also have dark memories, drawing power from the tragedies of their past. Laying a card with this keyword gives you the same bonus. You get plus one for each hero class among your discard pile. So double like uh, cards from Secret Wars that have two or split cards that have two would be great to... Uh, help with that because you're going to end up getting two different uh costs or two different ability like uh, classes there from the discard pile and uh so you can get up to five hero classes are red green blue uh black and yellow so here shield agents do not have a hero class so we have this first uh i'm guessing common from scarlet witch called alter reality it's a three cost two recruit card reveal top card of your deck discard it or put it back and then if you play a red hero uh you get dark memories so it's pretty straightforward we got Haunted by Lost Ronin, probably one of his... I want to guess this is probably a uh, common of his, because it's even though it's a high attack, it's only two attack... It's a high cost, it's only two attack. I'm going to guess it's a common of his, but I could be wrong. Um, no, actually, it's an uncommon, because you can tell by the artwork. Right? You should be able to tell by the artwork. Let me go back. Yeah, that's a common. That, and that is a common. This might be an uncommon. Yeah, you can tell by the artwork how it's spread in the card. So this may... That's a common. That's an uncommon, because it only has one border. So this is uncommon, because it only has one border. While this has two borders, so it's a common. If you didn't know that, now you know. Um, it doesn't matter how many cards of a particular hero class you have in your discard pile. Uh, so if you have discard pile, it's three green, four yellow, and five shield cards. You only get plus two for dark memories. Um, recruiting heroes, hyperspeed, and other discard abilities may increase the uh, dark memories bonus. Likewise, if you draw or reveal enough cards that have to shuffle your de- uh, discard pile back into your new deck, the dark memories bonus will go back to zero. Time your plays and build your deck carefully to turn dark memories to your advantage. Now we have Scarlet Witch's rare called Warp Time and Space. It's uh, reveal the top three cards of the hero deck, put one of them in your hand, put the rest on the bottom or top of the hero deck, and if you play three avengers heroes you get dark memories she's seven so that's pretty good um you can minimize the hoods attack with only picking a you know you can strategize get a couple different hero classes or you can get a bunch just kind of deal with uh it kind of depends on what you want to deal with in terms of fighting against it or using heroes that utilize dark memories and also double dark memories means double the bonus i'm guessing that the hoods epic side is double dark memories i'm just going to guess because we didn't see it explicitly but his epic side i'm sure is that way so this is probably what I'm most excited about, which is the double-sided transforming schemes. So we've got House of M, which we kind of knew. Um, it's set up as eight twists. Hero deck is four X-Men heroes and two non-X-Men heroes, or substitute another team for all X-Men icons on both sides. Um, add 14. Uh, so that for that little thing means you could change it out to like all Avengers and then two non-Avengers, but then Avengers applies to where all the X-Men parts are in that scheme that's what it means um add 14 scarlet witch hero cards to the villain deck special rules each scarlet witch in the city is a villain equal to the co- its cost plus three if you fight one gain as a hero and then twist this KO all non x-men heroes in the hq if there are at least two scarlet witches in the city this scheme transforms otherwise play another card from the villain deck so this is where it gets tough now we have the other side no more mutants so we have uh, special rules. Each Scarlet Witch in, this, uh, in the city is a villain with attack uh, equal to its cost plus four. If you fight one, gain it as a hero. Um, and then Twist is KO all, all X-Men heroes in the HQ. Play another card from the villain deck. When the number of non-gray heroes in the KO pile is 10 plus double the number of players. So that means that in Solo, which we'll see this, and it'll be 12. 12 K- non-gray heroes are KO'd. Evil wins. So you basically don't want this to transform because it's going to be significantly worse to deal with when transformed. Um, in keeping with Revelation's theme, all schemes in this set are double-sided transforming schemes. Start with the side face-up that says Setup. Uh, whenever it tells you to transform the scheme, flip it over. Use only the rules on the side currently face-up. So we hope you enjoyed our card preview. Join us next time as we reveal the Mastermind who has his finger in everything evil. And it looks like Revelations comes out August 21st. We're about a month away. So let me know what you guys think. 
Uh, tell me if you guys think this is like it says speed. So this is a whole other character. Uh, let me know what you guys think about everything. If this is another character we have, I think what there's nine characters and we know what uh, five of them are. It would be Scarlet Witch, War Machine, Quicksilver, Ronin, and Speed. If this is like, another hero, so we know half of the heroes. So um, yeah. With that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in another video.